Kia welcome to Room 9's Garden News this evening. I'm Damon McTwig and this is Hardy Shovel Richardson. Today on Room 9 Garden News, we have two stories. Firstly, we have a story set in the middle of country about a tulip robbery. Secondly, we have tragic a tragic situation on the east coast of the North Island. And lastly, we have the weather reporter. Our first story this evening on Room 9's Garden News about the Buntacle Garden being robbed last night. There was an awful robbery in the famous Buntacle Garden. He robbed... Too. Where's Joanna? Joanna, slow down. Go up. Go up. Joe. Yeah, just start reading from in August. Oh, on the 10th in August. of August, there was meant to be uh, any t- tulip festival. This oh, no. was this has been cancelled due to have no tulips available. Five thousand tulips lovers will be disappointed. The police are searching for five robbers wearing stripy t shirts, stripy pants, stripy hats. Oh, if you can help, please ring the garden rubber helpline on two double three one double three nine and here we have another groundbreaking piece of news. We are now going to talk to Miss Alex Ratty Red Rose Bush for interviewer. I'm Alex Racy Red Rose Bush. <laughs> Why are you crying? All the lollipops and and the gun and drink grain like a poisonous it's awful how are we going to stop this nonsense mad lollipop guy i know we can find we can find the mad mr bunny he can help us and the garden how are we going to find the magical bunny mr alien we can call him on the lollipop phone mm. hello mr bunny can you please help us the lollipops in the lollipop garden have turned black, grey and poisonous. Hi there fellas, I have a potion for you. This will solve all your problems. Just squeeze one drop into the middle of each lollipop and say catching in a high pitched lazy voice. Are you feeling better now, wipe sheet? <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, Mrs. Bunny. Thanks, Mr. Bunny. That and that's all from me. Back to you, Holly, in the studio. Hello again. I'm Holly Shovel Richardson, and here we have another story. We are. Now we're going to talk to Jasmine, beautiful Buttercup, our on-spot reporter who has more on the situation. Over to Jasmine. Hello, I'm Jasmine, beautiful Buttercup, and joining me now is Bob the Monster, Alvin the Chipmunk, and Carly. Tell me, Bob, what was damaged in the tornado last night? Well, one side of the garden was fine because the tornado only destroyed half of the garden. So, Alvin, what needs to be replaced? First, the moonflower garden. Moonflowers are made out of pieces of moon. They are hard. Uh, are hard. They are, uh, are silver and huge. They can stretch and only during the month of October. So Carly, what else needs to be replaced? A huge rock tree. It's been there for a thousand years. So Bob, how can people help? They can come to the moon 
got in and help us rebuild it. And they can go to the moon shop in, in October and buy some moonflower seeds. Thanks, guys. Back to the studio and back to you, Tiao. Oh, look and Tiao with the weather update. Let's have a look at the weather. Starting in the north on the mysterious moon gardens as usual. This is good to see following last night's huge tornado. In the centre of the North Island in Coral Garden Lake area, there is light wind and it is mainly sunny with a high of 24 degrees. Further down the island, on the east coast of the North Island, the lollipop garden is all poisoned and not healthy. There is, however, strong sun with a high of 34 degrees. Over the Cook Strait, Nelson tops the high with 35 degrees. At, at Millie's Tulip Garden in the southeast, there is heavy showers easing to cloud later on this evening. Finally, in the south of the south, there are very cold temperatures and snow on Stewart Island. This is expected to set for the next two to three days. That's all from me now. Good night, New Zealand. And catch you tomorrow. Back to the news desk with Holly and Dalen. Thanks, Luke and Tiel. We hope you've enjoyed the show and we wish you all a pleasant evening. Thank you for all watching and we'll see you again next time from the whole team at Roomland News, News Garden. Goodbye. Inohara. Ladies and gentlemen. Roll the camera. Okay. 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 Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we have featured an interview with a very peculiar looking gentleman. Scene one, take one. Thank you.